One common mistake I see players do that is new to AFK Journey is that they save all their diamonds. Don't do this as it will slow your progression down immensely and as a new player especially you will need new characters to start out with. So I highly recommend you to spend your diamonds so on what you ask. Well, you want to spend your diamonds on getting new characters. I recommend you use diamonds to buy out the discounted envelopes in the Imperium shop first and then use the rest of the diamonds normally on the banners but now comes the question. Is Vela worth it for a new player? Well, well she is definitely a good character to have and one of my most strongest characters on my PTR account. She is a bit too expensive for a new player. The problem is you have to pay 300 more diamonds on Vela's banner compared to the normal banner for every 10 pulls. So how does this affect your account? Well, there is several reasons. This is really bad for new players because you still need to get a lot of different characters to fill your roster to be able to deal with different situations in the game. So my advice is to go for the all hero recruitment banner where if you get lucky enough and non pity a lot of new characters you will need for cheaper. Also make sure to use the wishlist to set the characters that you want from this banner. I recommend having Cecia in there because she can carry your team a lot with AOE damage and also rooting the enemies a bit. Another really important thing to point out is the Stargaze system. This is another banner that you will unlock after you have summoned 400 times. It takes about a week or so for free to play players to unlock this and making sure all your diamonds are spent wisely on the cheapest summons will allow you to unlock this faster. Now why is unlocking the Stargaze station so important? It's because it will unlock new things to buy in the Imperium shop for discount that will refresh on a weekly basis. So this is another reason not to go for Vela's banner since the Stargaze characters can be game changing. For now my advice is to get as many different characters as possible and maybe some dupes or Cecia or other characters you like and use in your team to make them stronger and focus on getting your AFK levels up especially for more rewards per hour which will allow you to level up your characters faster. Now I'm most definitely not saying you should completely skip Vela. The only way to get her right now as far as I know is from the banner and she is a really strong character to take out the enemy's backline as a rogue. She also has a really strong skill where she reduces the enemy's energy, in other words all charge and this makes her really strong against blocking healers or the enemy's best DPS's ults. My last banner is for a few weeks at the time of me making this video so you can definitely get her a bit later in the game when you feel more comfortable with your current team. There is also another banner called the Epic Recruitment Banner. This is a really good banner with really good rates at getting some of the best characters but you will have to use a special envelope to summon on this banner and there really isn't a need to hold back on them as a new player. Just make sure you have chosen your wishlist and if you get an epic hero, it will be one from the wishlist that you decided on which is pretty neat. Also be aware that you cannot spend diamonds to summon on this banner and you only need 30 summons to pity summon from your wishlist which is pretty amazing. I hope this helps all the new players, take care and stay safe, peace out.